I grew up in a, in a former Soviet Republic and uh, I, I lived in uh, the city I lived in, I lived in kind of a really old, old part of it. And uh, they had basically, a lot of the townhouses, the way they were set up was that um, they would basically surround a small kind of area, a piece of land out, kind of like a small courtyard, and uh, kids would play there and stuff like that. So when I was a little kid, somehow, I have no idea if someone planted it or it just somehow accidentally got in there. A fig tree was uh, ended up there and um, no one would be like watering it or anything like that. It was just kind of, you know, uh, sit there by itself. Um, I remember I was three or four years old and it was shorter than I was. So it was a really, you know, no one would think much of the tree. And uh, somewhere I heard that uh, those kind of trees would keep growing until they kind of uh, reach the sunlight. And because of the way the, 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 the townhouses would surround the tree, the, the, it would be basically wouldn't get any sun, maybe um, unless maybe sun was right at the top around noon. So uh, fast forward about 10 years, it grew to be taller than any of the, the buildings around and all of them were basically three-story uh, townhouses. And my favorite thing in the summer was to kind of go to the tree and grab some uh, figs uh, from the tree and eat. Uh, really good figs, by the way. Um, it would sometimes it'd basically shake the tree, and it'd be like kilos of uh, figs just dropping in the bucket. And you know, uh, yeah, that was one of my favorite things to do in the summer. And every time I would go back, you know, that's one of the things I would do um, at home. And uh, fortunately, in the last couple of years, they kind of demolished that entire area, and sadly, the tree went away with it. Um, but I still remember the tree very fondly, and I actually wrote a song about it. So that was my my fake tree story, I guess. <laughs>